This series is going to turn everything that you think you know about becoming a content creator on its head. So if you are not open to learning new perspectives, to being challenged, to questioning all of your life choices, move right ahead because that is exactly what's going to happen. So if you're actually serious about growing your business, living your dream life, and becoming the best version of yourself, listen up, you have a choice. Either you can keep doing what you've been doing, repeating the same cycle and being exactly where you are right now, working too hard for too little to show for it, or you can watch this entire series and finally discover what your top content creators are doing to create a life of abundance, wealth, and opportunity on their own terms and how you can do it too. So if you're the type of person that's willing to look at yourself and your business objectively and are finally ready to step into that CEO creator role, let's dive in. I'm going to take you behind the scenes and share with you what your top content creators are doing, how they are running their businesses, how they are growing their brands, and how they are essentially creating their dream life and getting paid to exist. If you haven't already, make sure that you grab the workbook for this. By the end of this three-part series, I'm gonna make sure that you know exactly what your creator business strategy is, how you're gonna get there, so that you stop fluffing around, stop dreaming, stop wishing, stop hoping for the best and start actually doing something about it. The main things that I wanna point out from the workbook that you're really going to need when we work through these three videos is number one, the creator success path. You are literally going to build out your own custom success path because what is perfect for me is not perfect for you. It is all about what success means to you. And then we're gonna get detailed because I want you to walk away knowing what the step-by-step -step plan is for you to succeed. Knowing exactly what to focus on, what the key milestones are that you need to hit in order to progress to that next stage in your creator journey and truly start making bank and grow your brand because that is why we're here. Now, I have heard a lot of people say that there aren't enough jobs for content creators. And I want to let you know the creator economy is worth $104 billion. It is predicted to increase to $480 billion per year by 2027. This is such a big opportunity and people don't even understand what being a content creator really means just yet, let alone what a creator business is. People love to talk about the YouTube wave. People love to talk about missing out on the Instagram wave, on how if only it was 2017 again, they would be able to kill it on Instagram. They would would have a million followers. But what I wanna tell you right now is what we are experiencing in this very moment is bigger than any of that. It's not about a platform. It is not about Instagram, it's not about TikTok, it's not about YouTube, it's about you. It's about content creators. And it is about the power that you currently have and the opportunity that is being handed to you on a damn plate. And that plate, honey, is worth $104 billion, okay? So it is time to learn how to eat. It is time to learn what a content creator is, what a creative business model is, and how you can get a slice of it too. Because I don't want you sitting there on the sidelines thinking, I wish I knew. I wish someone had told me that being a content creator is going to be the most effective way for me to manifest my dream life and future-proof all of my success. It is going to be the thing that changes your damn life. And I know I'm a bit intense right now, but I feel like I need to be, I need to be just to get you riled up, okay? Because this is huge. And if you are not thinking about becoming a content creator, if you are not building your brand as a creator for you, for your family, for your business, for your future, aspirations, your future dreams, your future business, then the only person you'll be able to blame is you. So why do most creators fail? The first reason is that they don't know what a creator business is. Most of the courses out there are not teaching you how to launch your creator business. They're teaching you how to market yourself. They're teaching you marketing skills, which is great, but there's no point in aimlessly showing up online, getting crappy results, and not even knowing what your goal is in the first place. I believe that we all need to start with the end in mind. 
or else you're gonna end up somewhere that you don't want to be. And I have been there, I have done that. When I first left my nine to five and started my business, I didn't know what I wanted. I just knew that I wanted freedom. I knew that I wanted a sense of agency. I wanted to have a creative expression. I wanted to be curious, go on adventures, live the laptop lifestyle. And I just followed what society expected of me or just whatever was presented in front of me, to be quite honest. And I ended up managing a team, working with clients that I hated, not doing the fun stuff in my business that truly drew me to start a business. And I was left there being burnt out, stressed, overwhelmed, and feeling like a total failure. And that was all on me. That was all my fault because I didn't start with the end in mind. I didn't start my business with the intention and a clear strategy and plan of how I'm going to have that freedom lifestyle with that business, how I'm going to have creative expression with that business, how I am going to still be able to have adventure, curiosity, creative free, whatever else I wanted in that scenario. So. When it comes to starting your creator business, know that this opportunity is for influencers, this opportunity is for service-based business owners, this is for people even just in your career that you're not quite sure where you're gonna end up, maybe you wanna start a business but you don't quite know what it is. This is something that everybody is going to be doing in the future. This is going to be the new normal. And I want you to be one of the pioneers. I want you to be leading the way. I want you to be someone that got in before it became flooded, before it was saturated. And that is why we start here with the end in mind and why you'll build out your creator success path in this three part free series. The second reason that most creators fail is that they don't wanna change. They don't wanna grow and they don't wanna break those beliefs that we have all been taught. 10 years ago, our definition of success was completely different. We used to want to get married. We used to want to buy a house with the picket fence, have 2.4 kids, and we were happy with getting our four weeks of annual leave every year. Things have changed. With everything that we've gone through in the world, that is not what we define as success anymore. That is the bare minimum. What we truly want is freedom. What we want is time freedom, location freedom, financial freedom. We want to be able to live the life that we want to live, work because we love it, work because it brings us joy, travel the world, empower not only us, but those around us, and leave a legacy. And it's not about what I'm saying being correct. It is about being able to be aware of your choices. Be aware that maybe things aren't exactly as we see, that maybe there's a bigger opportunity here for us. So if you aren't willing to grow, if you aren't willing to change, if you aren't willing to question your beliefs, you're not going to be able to be a content creator because being a content creator is all about taking risks. It's all about paving a new path that doesn't exist yet. It's about not having a step-by-step -step structure of what to follow, what to do in order to be successful. If you want a guarantee, if you want a step-by-step -step plan, go to university, get a job, have a ceiling above you about how much you can earn, climb the corporate ladder, and maybe that is great for you. This is not for everybody. But if you feel that urge, if your intuition is telling you to look at becoming a content creator, now is the time. Give it three years and everything will change. This will be normality. It will be normal for people to come up to you and say, I'm a content creator. And everybody will understand what that means. Now, I believe that being a content creator gets a bit of a bad rap because not everybody knows what being a content creator is. Most content creators don't know what a creator business is. They don't know how to run it. They don't know how to make money from it. And it's proven in the statistics. Only 12% of content creators are making a full-time living from this. But it is worth a hundred billion dollars. It just doesn't make sense. The reason that creators don't know how much opportunity there really is, is because they're only seeing what other creators are posting online. They're seeing the pretty pictures. They're seeing the brand deals. They're seeing the one-off posts that they make. So they are seeing other creators get paid by a business to create a post for a thousand dollars and thinking, wow, this is such an incredible opportunity. But in actual fact, what they are not seeing is the fact that
creators have something that businesses don't have right now. Businesses have paid for years to be on TV screens, to be in the movies, to be on billboards. And that was how they got the attention of their customers. But now people don't care anymore about TV. They don't care about billboards. They don't go to the movies the way that they used to. They don't put celebrities up on a pedestal the way that they used to. Now they're looking at their phones, they're looking at creators. And creators are everyday people like you and I. Sarah from the down the road can create her first TikTok and get a million views. Do you know how much that shit used to cost back in the day? Do you know how much that does cost for businesses? They have to pay for the models, the actors, the production, the editing, everything. And creators are only seeing the little piece of the puzzle. They think that brand deals are it, that brand deals is where the money comes and it really isn't. I only have 30,000 followers on Instagram and I have been able to make multiple six figures from my Instagram, just Instagram. That is not because I'm getting a shit ton of brand deals. No, it's because I am the brand. I've become a value creator and I help people. I can genuinely make the lives of my followers better by helping them behind the scenes, behind my profile and generate more than a standard income. And that is why I think that only 12% of creators can make a full-time living. They think that the only way that content creators can succeed is through brand deals, but that is literally the smallest piece of the puzzle. Where the real money is, is when you start to launch your own business. When you as a creator learn how to monetize your community, when you start introducing multiple revenue streams into your life and it becomes effortless. When you combine it all together, it is amazing to be able to go to brunch, get my hair done, try new skincare and get paid to do so. At the same time, I speak to my community, I'm able to make a positive impact in their life by genuinely helping them and they are able to pay me for that. That is where the real opportunity lies. And right now, everybody is in this phase of creators where they're only focusing on the brand deals, they're only focusing on the content creation, but the real money and the real opportunity that I want you to be thinking about is when you, become the business, when you become the brand. So how do six-figure content creators become six-figure content creators? Well, it all depends on what role you're currently playing in your business. The role you fill, the identity that you embody, determines the results that you receive. So if you're acting like the social media intern and someone was to ask you how you're going to make more money, you're gonna wanna work harder, You're gonna wanna get more hours. But if you ask the CEO creator how they're gonna make more money, they're going to say that they need to elevate their role. They're going to have to step into the higher priority tasks, the visionary, the CEO, the true creative. If you truly want to have the bank account, have the lifestyle, have all the nice things, you need to embody the identity and the role of that creator. Now let's walk through the creator success path. Every single one of us goes through each of these stages. And I promise you, you are in one of the stages of the creator success path, but you need to know what milestones and strategies you need to hit in order to progress to the next stage. Because nobody's talking about it. Nobody's sharing exactly what you need to do and how you can build this out for yourself. When we look at the creator success path, there are five key stages. The first stage is the unaware. This is the natural talent, the person that is naturally born to be a content creator, but they're unaware. They're unaware that building their personal brand will open doors and create opportunities that they could only imagine. If you're here today, you are not in the unaware category. You're here, you're learning, and you're trying to figure out how to become a successful content creator, how to introduce multiple revenue streams into your life and how to truly start living your dream life on your own terms and get paid to exist. Stage two is the delusional dreamer. They dream of becoming the creator that they want to become. They have so much potential and know how many people they could help if they did this, but they're not taking action. They're taking cute little pictures, but not posting them because they're still stuck 
in being too scared. Too scared about what others will think, too scared about being seen, and too scared about potentially not making it. Stage three is the underpaid intern. They are doing all the things, they are showing up, they are being consistent, but they haven't grown their brand yet. They are juggling everything, but they're starting to feel a bit lost, a little bit overwhelmed, and to start to question whether this can be not only a hobby, but a genuine career path. They don't know where to start, and they don't know how to get traction online. Stage four is the busy creator. Their community is growing and they are finally getting those brand deals, but they are doing everything and they're doing it all solo. They don't have a moment to truly switch off and relax and feel as though they need to keep going because they don't know when their next paycheck is coming. They want to scale their income without adding more hours in their day because right now they don't have any extra time. And finally, the empire builder. They've created the life of their dreams by building their brand and having the right systems set up for success. They are living life on their own terms and have multiple revenue streams coming in and have figured out how to make money in their sleep and as a independent creator. Now let's chat about the three things that CEO creators do differently. Number one, they show up as their future CEO creator now. They don't wait for someone to deem them successful. They don't wait to get to 100,000 followers. If I waited until I got to 100,000 followers before I launched my creator business, which I launched it at about 15,000, I wouldn't have made multiple six figures by now. And I only have. 30,000 followers. You don't need a lot of followers in order to do this. It is about your mindset, it is about your identity, and it is about showing up in that role for your business, for your brand. Now, now I want you to grab the workbook. We are going to get into it. Now we're going to look at your creator dashboard, and I want you to look at how much money you would like to make per year. Jot this number down, and also think about what number of hours would you want to be working per day? Would you want to be working eight hours per day? I personally work four hours a day, but I want you to put that amount down here and you will have a number. We'll deal with that later, but for right now, why do you want to be earning that amount? Really think about it because we truly as human beings don't actually care about the materialistic things. We don't care about the money. We don't care about the house. We don't care about the clothes. We don't care about the makeup, whatever it might be that you're going after. What we care about and why we truly want those things is because of the feeling that it evokes within us, the confidence that we get when we have those things. So ask yourself, why do I want to have a hundred thousand dollar creator business? Let me explain. Next up, CEO creators spend their time working in the 5%. All tasks are not created equal. Fear is what is keeping you in the small activities. I really want you to look at where you currently are and look at your future creator and start Start living your life the way that they would. Show up as them now. Now we're going to be looking at the tasks that you do in your business. I get it. Right now, we are all solopreneurs and we're doing all the things, but we need to prioritize tasks. Now, if we look at our empire builder, what value, what hourly rate are you charging per hour? Now, anything underneath this amount is something that you need to start thinking about outsourcing. The moment that you get money, the moment that you land that $1,000 brand deal, I want you to be getting help to outsource those tasks that are under the value of what a CEO creator should be operating at. Outsource it so that you can truly start focusing your energy, using your creativity, and focusing on the tasks that only you can do. If we look at the un underpaid intern, the type of tasks that you should be outsourcing is scheduling content, engaging with other accounts, repurposing your content, and maybe jumping in Canva, doing graphic design. Those tasks you can outsource. Now, the tasks that you can't outsource that a CEO creator, an empire builder would be doing is your business goals. Now, they would be doing your business goals, ultimate brand vision, your content strategy. Maybe it's a sales and acquisition meeting with a new potential 
collaboration, or just simply being the face of your brand. Those are the type of roles that only the empire builder can truly embody and needs to take on. And if you're focusing all of your energy on those types of tasks, those types of activities within your business, your business will grow significantly faster than if you were spending all of your downtime in between your nine to five, trying to schedule content, trying to to edit a video, whatever it might be. Focus on being that empire builder now. And thirdly, they build their creator business with intention, with systems, with strategy. They know what they're doing and they're starting with the end in mind. Now, I am all about your soft life, but I understand that with two, three months of hustle, of building, of intentionality and sacrifice, I have built the business that I have now. I have hustled my way through life, but I also know it's only for a finite amount of time. I'm willing to put in the effort now because I have that intention, I have my system set up, and I have my strategy. So now that it is built, now that I have my creator business, which we will be going into in the next video, all I need to worry about is my content, showing up as the best version of myself, living my life, getting clear with my messaging, attracting people that need my help, that I can make a genuine impact in their lives. And that's the fun stuff. That's why we want to be content creators. We want to have fun. We want to help people along the way. And we deserve to live the life that we want to live and to live it on our own terms. And that's what CEO creators do. So now we're going to move into the homework. So I want you to look at what your identity is now. And then on the flip side, I want you to be looking at your CEO creator. I want you to be looking at who that future creator of you is, that dream version of you and how you want to live your life. And I know you're thinking, tell me about the creator business model now. And I will, I will get there. That will be the next video. I promise you it will be jam packed. It'll be value and we will start building out our strategy, but I need you to take the time, do the work and to show up in the next video with your homework done. Okay. You can't be skipping steps here because that future version of you, that future CEO creator, would she skip steps? Would she be looking for shortcuts? Or would she do the damn work? Would she do it properly? Would she watch this video twice? Maybe even three times? Yeah, she'd be taking this seriously because these are gems, okay? And you're about to get yourself a piece of that $104 billion pie. So go do the damn thing and I will see you in the next video very soon. Make sure that you grab the workbook if you haven't already. If you do grab the workbook, not only will you have the workbook, but you'll also have access to these videos in the future. I'll be taking them down from YouTube. Let's stop playing not to lose and start playing to win. Mm -hmm. Your success is inevitable. I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Oh, and let me know what you think of this video. Feedback is important. Mm -hmm. Bye.